Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, Gu Jiao Ning Ru. Today we're going to talk about implicit differentiation. Suppose you have a function of x and y which is smooth and differentiable, then dy dx is equal to negative 1 times the partial derivative of function f with respect to x divided by partial f partial y. And one application is when we have utility function that is a cop Douglas utility function and we want to find marginal rate of substitution then we can use implicit differentiation to help us find marginal rate of substitution. So the marginal rate of substitution graphically it would be the slope of the indifference curve. So here we have indifference curve and I can see that at different points I'm going to have different slopes. And uh, um, economically, it would be the number of y you're willing to give up in order to get one unit of x. So you can see that at point A, here you have very little x and more y. So at this point, you're willing to give up a lot of y in order to get one unit of x, which makes sense because you already have a lot of y. At this time, you want to have more x. But at point B, you could see the slope is a lot flatter. That tells you, hey, at this point, you already have a lot of x and you have very little y. So you are only willing to give up tiny a little bit y in order to get one unit of x. So um, that is the marginal rate of substitution. And mathematically, that will be dy dx. And it will be convenient to use our implicit differentiation. So dy dx, the slope of our indifference curve, is equal to negative 1 times partial u partial x divided by partial u partial y. So you can see here in the numerator, partial u partial x is actually equal to the marginal utility of x. And in the denominator, partial u, partial y is actually equal to the marginal utility of y. So we are going to take a partial derivative um, of this cop plus utility function. So don't forget about your negative one here. And upstairs, you take partial derivative with respect to x. So you have alpha x times alpha minus 1 y to the power of 1 minus alpha. And downstairs you have partial derivative um, of u with respect to y. So you have 1 minus alpha here times x to the alpha's power times y to the minus alpha's power. And after you rearrange that, you get negative 1 times alpha y divided by 1 minus alpha x. And you can see that if I want to find MRS at this point, then I'm just going to plug in my x0, y0 here. Then I will be able to find the marginal rate of substitution at this point. And if I want to find the marginal rate of substitution at this point, then I'm just going to plug in the corresponding x and y. So this is implicit differentiation with application of Cobb-Douglas utility function. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.